Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the war in Ukraine. And I'm just going to share my thoughts on it. Um, first, we got to start with when it comes to people that tell you that they know what's going to happen with the stock market, I give you today. Russia launches an all-out assault on the Ukraine and the stock market drops and then it goes back up. It's unpredictable. Nobody knows why the stock market does anything, all right? And so I just like to point that out that a lot of these gurus I actually on the internet pushing these highly speculative stocks, I actually think their time is coming to an end relatively soon, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it was fascinating to watch. When I woke up this morning, I got up at like 9.30 and I, I, I grabbed my phone and I'm getting, I'm like, oh, stock market's dropped. I look at Tesla stock. Like, cause I figured the war was gonna wreak havoc on the markets. And now by the end of the day, Tesla's back up to $800 a share. Is what it is. Anyways, Let's talk about the war in Ukraine. So, first off, let me start with, I think Vladimir Putin is an evil dictator. I describe him as the most gangsterous gangster who ever gangster. Okay, let's throw that out. But we got to also talk about it's been known for a long time that Vladimir Putin, A, wanted to recreate the glory of the Soviet Union. Whether this will be his downfall or not, I don't know. And number two, he warned numerous times that he did not want NATO assets on the border with Russia. Okay, so I don't understand how this comes as a surprise to anybody that when they were talking about admitting NATO, uh, the Ukraine into NATO, that Russia invaded. I, I don't understand why that is surprising to anybody. I'm not saying that to defend Vladimir Putin. Dude's clearly, you know, poisoned a few mother effers in his time. Um, but, you know, that is what's being said. But like, whatever you think of war is stupid. I, I tell people this. I'm like, the only people that call for war generally, the only appropriate time to call for a war is when your country is being invaded. So the Ukraine. And other than that, unless there's a massive human rights violation going on, like, you know, during World War II with the Jews, or say like the Uyghurs getting ethnically cleansed. But I don't, and also like the Ukrainians being surprised that, you know, the United States isn't putting assets into Russia to repel them. Well, look, here's the thing. It's not that I don't think that the United States military, right, and the, uh, combined with NATO, couldn't easily defeat the Russian military. The problem is, Putin is kind of a madman and he has nukes. So you kind of want to avoid, most nuclear-powered nations try to avoid war with each other. It kind of like a, you know, one of those things where governments kind of try to avoid hurting people into... Uh, uh, concentration camps when the populace is largely armed or, you know, with the Ukraine invalidating all of your arguments against the Second Amendment when the government started arming their own citizens. But it, everybody's been talking about this ad nauseum and it's horrible. But let me tell you something else that's going on in the world right now. Right now, there's a genocide going on in Yemen. You know, I what's happening to the Ukraine is horrible. And, you know, my heart goes out to 
anybody, if you happen to watch this in the Ukraine, I've always wanted to visit Ukraine and Russia. I wanted to go after I watched uh, after I watched uh, Chernobyl. I was like, dude, I got to go to Chernobyl. I watched it on HBO. That show was fantastic, and it makes me wonder too. Like, why did the Russian? Why did why did Russia take Priapet in Chernobyl? Priapet, I think that's how you say it. But why did they take that place? It's like, isn't this a radioactive dumping ground? Like, why would you want to own that? I don't, I don't know. But you know, dude, this is. This is uh, pretty sick right here. Defiant last words of 13 brave Ukrainian soldiers defending Snake Island, just 40 miles from Ro- from Romanian border in the Black Sea before Russian Navy opened fire and killed them. The Russians, right, Russians, put down your weapons and surrender. Ukrainians, go F yourselves. Russians, go F yours. Couldn't you think of, I mean... That's just ballsy on the part of the Ukrainians. But if you're the Russians, couldn't you think of something better to say before you kill them? At least something funny because you're the people firing the rockets. But, you know, and here's the most baffling, baffling thing. Biden said no one expected sanctions to prevent anything. Biden's baffling response after freezing all Kremlin assets in America Targeting four more banks says Putin wants to reestablish the Soviet Union. Yeah, we all know that. You know, that's not a secret. But I was always under the impression when you levied sanctions at a country, it was to get them to stop doing whatever bad thing that it is that they're doing. And now... You're telling me that sanctions, no one expected them to work? Like, what's going on here? I don't understand it. Biden blames, Biden warns Putin that U.S. will be involved if he moves into NATO countries as Ukrainians hand out 10,000 assault rifles to citizens. There's no such thing as an assault rifle. But I don't think, I think, Putin, as big of a madman as he is, I think he knows that if he were to go into a NATO ally, I think he knows his military would get crushed. Unless he's willing to put his finger on the nukes, man. And I don't know. Like, with a dude like this, but here's the thing. Here's why I don't... I think he warned if anybody interferes there will be catastrophic uh, repercussions. I think he warned, but I also think in there, Putin has, Putin's not insane. Like, you notice how he acted different with Donald Trump than he is now? I mean, there's numerous factors to it. There's the high energy prices, which for all of you people out there that are watching my uh my rant right now where you think that we're going to magically transition to uh, we're going to magically transition to renewables like solar and wind that are made with petroleum products in China most of the time and that we're all going to hold hands and sing kumbaya and mainland mainline soy just to let you know that ain't going to happen and it was stupid all of Europe's Oh, Germany. Hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to scuttle all of our nuclear power plants to score points with the greenies. Oh, turns out that we were getting all of our, you know, gas from Russia and we really didn't do anything other than empower the Russian military and Vladimir Putin. It's just, it's amazing how people still don't realize they, they inhabit positions of power and they still don't realize that there's consequences for every action. And, you know, one of the consequences, one of the consequences of you know, Germany scuttling their nuclear power is they had to make up the difference 
And they did that by importing gas from Russia. And we had the Keystone Pipeline going, which means we could make money and supply Europe with all the gas they need, natural gas and gasoline. But we wanted to scuttle that. So, you know, whatever the idea that the Greens have, which is not feasible with the technology going forward. I can't imagine... Dude, I mean, here's the thing. Like, Americans have never had to bear the brunt of war. And that's why I think all too often, a lot of times, a lot of Americans get a little bit too hyped up into in saying things like, yeah, we need to go over there and kick some butt. But, you know, this is the reality of it. Civilians are dying you know, Ukrainians are getting kicked out of their homes. No, if there's much more that I need to. Ukraine is retaken. Yeah, Ted Cruz is an idiot. Yeah, man. I mean, that's pretty much my take on what's happening over in the Ukraine. There's really not much. I don't really don't have much more to say on this subject other than, yeah, it sucks. And, uh. Vladimir Putin's a giant Richard for going in there, but I don't understand how people didn't think this was going to be expected, you know, with trying to put NATO assets in the Ukraine. So anyways, like and subscribe or don't and I'm out.